Hello and welcome back to another gas walkthrough. Today we're looking at uh, July 12, 2024's XVVX by Clover. Clover's one of our setters here at Gas HQ. My name is Bill Murphy. I am also one of them and it is my pleasure to solve this puzzle for you today. Um, Oh, pardon me. Uh, we at Gas are genuinely approachable Sudoku, if you haven't met us before. Uh, if this is your first time here, welcome. Uh, we make genuinely approachable variant Sudoku. Uh, if you like a good puzzle, um, we're here for you to, you know, have a go. S see, push your boundaries a little bit. Um, you will find the link to this puzzle in the description down below. You will also find hat times. Hat times are our little marker for how fast you're solving the puzzles in. Two hats is for a very, very fast time. One hat is for a pretty fast time. And everyone gets a consolation dinosaur if you want it. You don't have to have it, but like, you can. Um, that being said, let's get into today's puzzle. So this is XVV Act by Clover. Now, if you've never seen a Sudoku before, normal Sudoku rules apply, which means each box, each row, and each column must contain the digits 1 to 9 once each. Digits along a grey palindrome must uh, read the same backwards and forwards. Digits separated by an X must sum to 10. Uh, digits separated by a V must sum to 5. Not all possible Xs or Vs are given. Uh, Essentially, there's no negative constraint if you're a bit of a veteran here. That being said, give it a go before uh, I do, but let's get into it. So, um, the way to start this puzzle is to have a look at our Vs um, and where they are on the palindrome. If you want to solve this puzzle yourself uh, and you want to color it, go for it, but I'm not going to today. So, these two cells sum to five because they must be the same as those two cells and they can't be one and four so they must be two and three we have a two here which tells us which way around these go um, and two plus eight makes ten so do three two eight up here uh, these two cells must sum to five meaning these two cells must sum to five they cannot be two and three so they must be one and four the one here tells us which way around these go and one and nine make ten so four, one, and nine going that way. Now, um, let's have a look at these two cells. Now, uh, the way both of those uh, two cells must sum to uh, 10, and they must be the same two digits. Now, they cannot be uh, two and eight, because these two, uh, this two sees both of those cells. They cannot be three and seven because this three sees both of those cells. And they cannot be one and nine because one and nine both see this cell. So they must be four and six. The four here tells us which way around they go. Hey. Uh, brain moving faster than my fingers can. Um, while we're here, we're going to do this. So we're going to put a 9 up there, uh, and these two 8s point down here. So, what's this? Well, it can't be 1 and 9, it can't be 4 and 6, and it can't be 2 and 8, so it must be 3 and 7. The 3 here tells us which way around these go. So, uh, this is 7 and 3, 3 and 7. Now, let's look at these two. Oh, do I want to do some more Sudoku? I think I do. 3 and 3 see these two cells, so this is 3. Uh, 4 and 4 see these see these two cells. So, uh, well, I mean, technically the 4 sees both of those cells, but uh, thanks to the palindrome. Uh, so that's 4, making this 5, 6. Uh, this is... Oh, and that's 5, 6, too. Um, and this is 5 and 7. So... I guess the question is now, what is uh, these two cells? Uh, and that's 572. Yeah. Um, so what's these two cells? Well, they can't be 2, 3, uh, two 8, 3, 7, and can't be 1 and 9, so it must be 4 and 6. 4 here tells us which way around this goes. So that's 6 and 4, 6 and 4. Over here, these two cells sum to 10. Uh, cannot be 1 and uh, 9, 4 and 6, or 2 and 8. So it must be 3 and 7. 3 here tells us which way around these go. So that's 7 and 3, 7 and 3. Uh, we can do a little bit of cleanup. 1, 2, 9. 
uh, on the palindrome, one, two, nine. So I got to take nine out of both of those cells and take the two out of here. Uh, we can do a bit of cleanup over here. This is one, two, and eight, uh, meaning this is also one, two, and eight. We can take the eight out of there. Uh, one, five, and seven, two, five, and six. And this must be five, six, or seven. It's five, but we'll get to that. Uh, take the one out of here, take the eight out of here. Now, the question is, where does six go in column two? Six can't go here or here, because we already have a six in a box, but this six also sees this palindrome, meaning it can't be in any of those cells. The only place I can place a six in column two must be here. So we can do a bit of clean up there. Take the five out of here. So it's six out of that. And if you like, can we do the same thing the other way? Absolutely. Where does seven go in column eight? Well, seven can't go in those two cells. And because it sees the whole palindrome, it can't go in any of those cells. So this must be seven, five, and we can do a bit of clean up. Uh, that's five, five out of here. Um, yeah, and now this is three and nine. Nine here tells us which way around this goes. Nine and three nine and over here this is four and eight the eight over here tells us that both of those must be eight and this is four uh that is nearly the whole uh all of the palindromes done all of the variants done so let's just quickly finish it off i'm going to do a little cheaty not cheaty it's very hard to cheat um but i'm going to do something slightly tricky uh uh yeah, okay, let's do it. Um, so here, is is it one or is it two? And the answer is it must be two. And if you're like, why must it be two? If both of these were one, where would I put a one in this box? Hmm, good question. So they're both two, we'll take two out of here. Um, and we can clean that up. We can do the same over here. If this is if this is two, where does two go in box nine? Answer is it can't go anywhere. So both of these must be one, seven and one. And that is all of our palindrome done. So let's just finish it off with a uh, regular old fashioned Sudoku. Uh, eight in column seven sees both of those. So that must be eight. That's two, uh, five and eight to finish off column eight, uh, two and six go that way. Uh, this is eight, three and five, two, seven. Oh, I can't quite do that just yet. Let's do down here. Uh, one and five over here, one, five, nine and one. This is six, uh, two negative singles to finish that off. And this is seven, nine, five, and one. This has been XVVX by Clover. My name is still Bill Murphy. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Don't forget, drop your hat times in the comments. Betty appreciated uh, all of the pats. Um, I will give her two pats for, uh, I will give her a pat per hat scored in the comments. That is my promise. Uh, she's currently visiting my parents right now. Um, I will catch you all next time. Cheers.